All right, welcome back. Here we are, the very first showcase video for the seven star, new seven star Terror Raid boss, Imbor. This one is gonna be Groudon. Groudon works great against this guy. It's probably one of my more favorite builds, um, probably because it's the first time I've used Groudon in a video. So, hey, here we go. Let's get into it. Go through exactly all the details and what you need to know. So stick around. And as always, let's get to the stats. Summary, etc. So here's how you here's what you are going to do with Groudon. Groudon is going to be a full-on ground beast. Okay? Ground type. <laughs> yes. Um, can't change it anyway. And then also terror type. It's ground. Yes. Don't have any other type. You're good. Alright, other than that, we're gonna run Shell Bell. Okay? Do need a little bit of a healing item. And hey, shout out to Pokemon Go. This is a shiny from Pokemon Go. Um so let's move on over to the next, keep hitting that wrong button, struggle on the buttons today. Um, jump over to the moves. All right, here's the moves. Um, here's what you're gonna run. We are gonna do Mud Slap, okay? Mud Slap's great, drops the accuracy of him, gets that Terrastalize, the Terra Energy up. Awesome move, run that. Also, can't press the right button for anything one-handed. Second move, Sword Dance, boost your attack power, yes. Works really, really good. Bulk up. Bulk up is probably the single most mo important move in this entire raid. This is going to be across almost all of my setups, either this or Iron uh, iron Defense. Um, but bulk up is stellar. You must have it. Gonna need it, trust me, because after that 40% uh, HP mark where he boosts his uh, attack up with those um, his own bulk ups, you're gonna need this to counter that. So yes, bring bulk up. And then Earthquake, that's gonna be your primary damage. Phenomenal move. 100 power, 100 accuracy, nothing wrong with that move. Great. All right, that's the moves. Let's talk about your stats and what you're gonna do for your Groudon. So pretty straightforward, as always, your IVs, you're gonna go HP and attack. All right, fully go that direction. That's the way Groudon is set anyway. No reason to go special. You could build a special Groudon if you really wanted to. It would work just fine. You're just not gonna do as much damage. Might as well go with this, the, uh, the full on, um, attack version. Now, the one thing about Groudon is this ability, and he can't change it. He only has one ability. It's Drought. Brings out the sun for five turns. What is that going to do? That boosts Flare Blitz, an extremely powerful move <laughs> that this Invor has. That's okay. We're going to deal with it. It's only five turns, and we're probably going to let Groudon faint once anyway. So let's get over to the fight and show you actually how to win this thing. As we said, locked our party. We got our, our Bolivia and um, uh, Star Raptor. Check out that video reference down below if you want to know how to lock your parties. You always have the same party when you're doing these raid bosses. Makes seven star farming so much easier. All right, first thing we're gonna do straight into Mud Slap, okay? Gotta get that Terra energy up. So we're just gonna do Mud Slap, slap at least three times. You won't, three times, yeah, you won't need it anymore. He's not gonna steal your, your, steal your Terra Lord. Um, there goes the sun because of drought. Flare, bits, Flare Blitz gets powered up, but Groudon's got great defense, so he can take the hits. So as long as you don't get critical, you're gonna get three of these off no problem, especially with a healer and PC. Without a healer and PC, it's kinda close. May or may not get all three off before fate. No big deal. Let's come back in, drop your last one, and move on. All right, and Flare Blitz, of course, is not 100% accurate, so he will miss. And then adding, um, uh, mud slap into the equation. He misses a decent amount. So right there, he's already cleared our stats. Awesome. Not worried about it. Um, we're going to continue to do mud slap um, until where our Terra energy is charged. Then we will begin buffing ourselves. Depending on what our HP is, though, or the RNG factor from Flare Blitz, and depending on how much it misses, um, we will uh, let Groudon go down. Let him faint once. We've got plenty of time. No worry. Gonna see, we're gonna see where we're at though. Thing is, is we need to get bulk up charged as well as sword dance. So we're at half HP right now. Um, I don't really know what to do. The the RNG sort of split on me this one. Um, let's just do it. Let's charge him. 
Let's go into bulk up. Take less damage. Um, his attack is decreased because of Star Raptor over there. If you do not have an intim intimidating PC that you're drought on, you probably are not going to win. Just saying. Takes too much damage. He hits too hard. You need one. Really do for this build. There he goes. He clears his stats, which means his attacks are going to go back up. So he's removed the Intimidates from Star Raptor. So with that, we're just going to go straight into another bulk up. Try to help cancel some of his attacks. So here, this we're boosting our attack, but we're also boosting our defense. We really do need that defense, especially when you're getting 12 HP. All right. We're going to go and start some damage. we got to get the Shell Bell involved. we got to get a little HP back. So, we're going to go ahead and Terastalize and throw the Earthquake. Two bulk ups, two attack ups. Should be more than enough to give me some pretty good healing. The key is, is we don't want to we don't want to break that shield. We don't want to knock him down to that 40% marker. Because right right there on that green line, about, about the T-ish, is when he's gonna put his two bulk ups up. And then it gets really obnoxious from there. Because he will double attack below 50%. So we want to make sure we are fully buffed for that point. So I'm gonna go into my third bulk here. Um, or we could go into a sword dance. Yes. So two bulk ups into sword dance. We do sword dance twice. Max out our attack, two defenses, and then we're gonna we're gonna run the gamut with damage. Run the gamut with damage. Um, so we'll go ahead and do another earthquake here. Get some heals. Just sort of a sort of a game, making sure your HP stays high enough while you're getting buffed, because Groudon doesn't have a move like recover. Um, could use your heal cheers if you want. Heal cheers are incredibly RNG. Um, sometimes you get like a 20% heal and it's just terrible. So, all right, let's go into our last sword dance. So this will maximize our attack, or max will be max with six. We have two defense buffs. That should be enough. That's how I won it the first time. This was my very first one, was when we got on. Only had two defense buff and survived just fine. Let's get that attack maxed out. Now we're going to go ahead and move into another Earthquake. Check the stats real quick just so you can see them. There you go. So that's kind of what you're looking for. And then we'll check his stats. So his attack is dropped because of the Intimidate from Star Raptor. Every time Star Raptor gets knocked out, making you survive just a little bit better. Take a little bit less damage. Right, now we're going to see some good damage. Some big chunks. Maybe. So one more there. We'll break that shield. When the shield does break, you of course get a free move. So we'll do even more crazy damage at that point. Cleared his stats. And the sun wore off, by the way. The sun wears off after five turns from your drought mill ability on Groudon. So by this point, the sun's gone. Flare Blitz is doing a lot less damage. So once you do get yourself buffed, you pretty much just earthquake it to the finish. Shell Bell's got no issue keeping you alive. Once his shield goes down, he's going to take a ton of damage from Earthquake. Um, you likely will knock him out in two more attacks. We will see him bulk up here. Because we drop below the 40% HP line. There it is, bulk up number one. And... Wait for it. Bulk up number two. <laughs> Always does it. But if you anticipate it, plan for it. It's an easy thing to counter. Doesn't do a move there because we broke the shield. So we're going to go straight into Earthquake. This Earthquake is going to be a free Earthquake. And the shield. So he's not going to hit me. That's a lie because we're going to trigger the other move, that Heat Crush or whatever it is. Maybe. We didn't drop it far enough. Um... We actually had a really bad earthquake there. I wonder if there's a shield resist or what. There's not very much damage. Hmm, a little bit. There's heat crash. 
and we did use it on it. And as you see, that took like no damage. Into a Flare Blitz. And then he will probably do another move, hitting me three times in a row. No? Hit Smash. Yes, three hits. That's why you gotta have that bulk up, gotta have those defensive points up. Otherwise, you get to this point, you may not get out. Likely will not get out. And it's all RNG. If he critical hits you right there, you're out anyway. It's the nature of a seven star raid. But hey, there you go. Groudon gets it done. The easy win. This was helpful. Drop a like, hit the sub button. Let me know what other builds you're using or what you would change in this build. I really would like to know. We'll see you in the next showcase.